hi guys good day and welcome to today on princess Anu tv hope you all are doing very nice and good today so today we're going to be talking about isa division you know yesterday we talked about the tropopause and i told you that the temperature changes stops at the tropopause which i was talking about the lab street yesterday though i didn't mention the lab street but you know when we drew the diagram of the atmosphere and we classify the troposphere stratosphere mesosphere and thermosphere i talked to you that temperature always decreases as you go higher so it gets like colder the higher you go the cooler it becomes but it gets the triple force and it stops so we are going to be discussing how you know the isr deviation how to calculate the isr deviation like you know that calculations actually takes a lot of time so we are going to just answer barely three questions in today's episode so stay tuned guys and let's start right now but guys before we start i'm going to be explaining some things to you that we are going to use to solve this particular equation if you can look on your screen the table you can see just on your screen is the equation of the table we are going to be solving so i'm just picking number one number two number three so the one of height 1500 and 17,000. 500 feet and 24,000 that's the one 24,000 feet those are the ones we are going to be solving today but I will also like to explain some things with this uh, diagram like we discussed uh, yesterday the troposphere and stratosphere those are the uh, major ones we are going to be looking at today at this the height from uh, from the height from where the earth starts till the troposphere till the uh, tropopause correction it's about 11 kilometers so you have like 0 to 11 kilometers and from here to about where the stratosphere stops is about 50 kilometers and from this point that the uh, tropopause starts you have a lapse rate that's temperature changes is about 1.98 degrees celsius per 1000 feet so for every 1000 feet you have a change in temperature of about 1.98 degrees celsius so guys we should always note for every 1000 feet as you go higher the temperature actually changes in one 1.98 degrees celsius but for calculation reasons we don't use 1.98 we actually use two degrees celsius per 1000 feet they made it like that in aviation to make calculations a little bit more easier and now this is where you're going to be seeing the kind of calculations we actually do when people ask is mass actually important mass is so so important though you don't do we don't do like extreme mathematics but actually mass is something you cannot do without in aviation and so another thing you should notice is that mean sea level temperature is 15 degrees celsius Because this is what we're going to be using to actually solve the questions. If you don't know all these facts, that's this 1.98 degrees Celsius per 1,000 feet. And you don't know that the mean sea level temperature is 15. This ISA, that's International Standard Atmosphere, that is what is being tamed. The lapse rate is 1.98. And the mean sea level temperature, ISA, International Standard Atmosphere, is 15 degrees Celsius mean sea level temperature. So we're going to be using these major things to actually solve these questions that we have here so now guys like you know before you're going to solve any question you're going to look at the question and find out what exactly are they asking you in this question what do they want you to find in this question and how do you go about it for every question there's always a formula and so we are going to get out a formula to solve these three questions and after getting out the formula to solve these three questions we are now going to take it step by step so that you can understand it very very well now the first one is find or calculate just look at the screen and see the question calculate the iasa deviation so they've given us the height in feet and they've given us the temperature in degrees celsius you know Temperature is not just only in degrees Celsius. You have it in Kelvin. You have it in Fahrenheit. So it's not just in degrees. But this one, they gave us specifically in degrees Celsius. So we don't have to start converting to anything. You know, don't go and do over syllabus. That's what I'm trying to say. So, uh, guys, let's move over. Firstly, we have to get out the formula for IASA deviation. So what's the formula for IASA deviation? 
the formula for Ayasa deviation this is how we're going to write it is equal to actual temperature minus Ayasa temperature the formula is looking very very simple but i promise you that if you don't put your head down <laughs> you can miss it so now they've given us what are the two things they've given us they've given us height in feet now you're going to look at it where am i going to put this and they've given us the actual uh they've given us the temperature in celsius that's the temperature they are having at this 1500 and they want us to get two things they want us to find ayasa temperature and they also want us to find the ayasa deviation so throughout what we are going to be doing today we are going to be looking for ayasa temperature ayasa deviation but i want you to have this particular formula at the back of your mind because it's this formula that is going to help us solve a lot of things and you know our body is not so big so we have to be taking everything step by step so when you follow we'll have to like it's it will be faster and you know it's going to go nice so the first thing you would do is isr deviation like we know is missing in this particular question now we are solving question one which they give us feet as 1500 so now temperature there which is the actual temperature is plus 28 degrees celsius and now we are having a minus to look for the iasa temperature and i told you guys previously just in the beginning part of this video that mean sea level temperature is plus 15 degrees celsius so we have plus 15 degrees celsius now we are going to use the lab rates because we are looking for that of 1500 the actual iasa temperature and iasa deviation on this 1500 we are going to put it here minus one five times two divided by one thousand this is the last rate that we talked about one thousand five hundred times two divided by one five the last rate for every one thousand feet you go up you lose an approximate of two degrees celsius per one thousand feet so i'm sure you're getting it so this now plus 28 degrees celsius minus we have plus here 15 minus if we do 15,000 uh, 1,500 correction times 2 which is going to give us 3,000 divided by 1,000 so just cross out the three zeros this method is very very easy when you want to solve so plus 15 here minus 3 is going to give us 12 so when you come here you say plus 28 this plus and minus signs are very very important please do not take it for granted plus 28 degrees celsius minus plus 12 because don't forget we have a minus here you know we are doing this in a board mass setting that's why i say you cannot mass is fundamental you cannot like overlook what you learned either in primary school or in secondary school <laughs> and expect that when you come to flight school you're going to perform magic it's a step-by-step -step process and if you really want to understand it in depthly you need to be able to follow all these steps don't forget we are still in number one question <laughs> so guys plus 28 degrees celsius minus 12 degree celsius is going to be giving us 16 degrees celsius 16 degrees celsius so this one is the ISA temperature which they also asked for so our ISA temperature for this question is 12 degrees celsius why the ISA deviation for this particular question is 16 degrees celsius if you understood this i would like you to leave a comment in the comment section so i can know that you are following and we're going to be moving over to the second we have for today and now in this particular one height they give us you know last one we had 1500 in this one they give us 17500 and for the temperature they give us minus 18 
degrees Celsius. So this looks a little bit uh, different because here we are having minus and the previous one we had plus 28. So I want you to follow closely. If you didn't understand the first one, you will definitely understand this one. So we are still using this formula, I answered deviation, which is equal to actual temperature minus ISA temperature. So our ISA deviation obviously is missing. Actual temperature here, which they've given us, is minus 18 degrees Celsius. And now for us to get our IASA temperature, we are going to be using, don't forget, the mean sea level is plus 15 degrees Celsius minus, now they gave us 17,000. 500 we want to look for the ESA temperature at this particular level and we have to use this lab street because as you keep going higher for every 1000 feet like i said you keep losing two approximately two degrees celsius so now we are looking for the actual uh one we are we've lost for 17,000 actual temperature we've lost for 17,500 so 17,500 times two divided by 1000 this is what we're going to get for this so we still have minus 18 degrees celsius minus plus 15 degrees celsius here minus so we have 17,500 times 2 is going to be giving you 35,000 divided by 1,000 here so you just cross out the three zeros cross out the three zeros you have 35 so plus 15 degrees celsius minus 35 so you can see what we have here and here we have minus 18 degrees celsius minus 20 minus don't forget this is minus minus because we are having plus 15 degrees celsius minus 35 degrees celsius so a, a lower number is minusing a higher number which already has a minus sign so you're having minus minus 20 degrees celsius so now minus 18 degrees celsius minus minus is going to give you plus don't forget that so we have minus 18 degrees celsius plus 20 degrees celsius now you're going to be having what are we going to be having here we are going to be having two degrees celsius so now if we check it out i guess that temperature that we had here is minus 20 degrees celsius while the while the ISA deviation that we have here is 2 degrees Celsius, not a minus but a plus this time around, not a minus but a plus. So, this one, I'm sure you've understood it perfectly. I have no doubt that you've understood it. So, let's quickly touch the last one. In fact, this time around, I'm going to be leaving you to tell me the answer for the ISA deviation but we are definitely going to solve the ISA temperature and I'll leave you to do the ISA deviation you're going to complete it out so that I will be sure that you actually follow so let's move over to the third question so guys this is the last question we have for today and here the height we have is 20,000 feet and we have temperature at minus 35 degrees celsius so if we look at it clearly don't forget the formula is still isa deviation equals to actual temperature minus isa temperature and now they are asking us to look for isa temperature and isa deviation so it seems like they're asking us to look for this and this but it's quite simple because we've done it before now let's move over the first thing we are going to put isa deviation obviously is missing so it's going to have a question mark and now the actual temperature is minus 35 degrees celsius and now we are going to be having a minus here don't forget there's a minus sign and the standard mean sea level temperature is plus 15 degrees celsius and here we have a minus because we want to get the actual temperature at 24,000 feet so we have 24,000 feet times 2 because you know Two degrees celsius per 1000 feet so how do we do this this times this you're going to be having forty-eight thousand. so let's say plus 15 degrees celsius minus 48 divided thousand. by 1000 so you have this crosses out this and yeah we still bring out our minus 35 degrees celsius minus so yeah you're going to be having plus 15 degrees minus 48 so guys i hope you're following so guys in this case we are now going to be having minus 35 degrees minus plus 
15 degrees Celsius minus 48. This uh, this has already cancelled out this. So you have minus 35 degrees Celsius minus 15 degrees minus 14. So you're gonna be having minus 33 degrees Celsius because you know plus 15 minus 48. It's going to be giving us minus 33 and so now you're having minus 35 degrees celsius minus minus is going to give you plus so plus 33 degrees celsius now minus 35 plus 33 obviously you're going to be having a minus 2 degrees celsius oh my god i said i was going to leave you to know <laughs> <laughs> the ISR deviation, but it's quite fine. I'm sure you followed because ISR deviation now we have here is minus two, and the ISR temperature that we had here is this, which is minus 33. If you can look through the answers, like I said, if you're using an Oxford, you're going to have the answers just below. You're going to have the answers below the oxford questions so after solving you can just go there and confirm your answers and yeah i'm looking at our answers and all our answers are accurate and they are all correct so guys i hope you enjoyed today's class if you did don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you've not subscribed do me a favor click on the subscribe button and click on the bell so that whenever i post any video you'll be able to see it and in case you're wondering who i am i'm princess anu and i'm a student pilot a commercial pilot license holder until i see you in tomorrow's episode still obviously on metrology and we are going to touch um something else it might be calculation it might just be a classwork so guys till i meet you next time keep watching and stay safe be fine love you guys bye